Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for everyone's favorite segment on this channel, The, the Tier, tier list, list, where I tear out from S to F the various key releases within the catalog of an artist, a collective, a band, a group. And today we are talking about one of the most beloved uh, in the history of media, uh, that would be The Smiths. You guys know them. You'll love them. You're constantly in my comments. Where's the Smiths uh, tier list? Where's the Smiths tier list? Anthony, we know you love the Smiths, which I get why you guys would ask. Some of my biggest videos over the life of my channel have been on the Smiths. So let's really round out my Smiths commentary and uh, just kind of put out there everything that there is to say in this final tier list video. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's start with the latest release from the Smiths and, and work our way backwards. Uh, this one here came out in uh, 2000, uh, specifically October 31st, uh, 2000. That would be Willow Smith. Now, in my opinion, as the years draw on, Willow proves to be a pretty underrated Smith. I mean, look no further than the latest single to her forthcoming album, which is like a really awesome, passionate, fiery, punchy bit of throwback 90s pop piano rock, almost Fiona Apple style where the chord progression is insane. The vocal performance is impressive and the drums were killer on the track too. Just like good, tasteful production and songwriting all around. And even if her last little, you know, kind of like alternative era uh, album cycle that she did not too long ago, it, it, it did have some lows, that is true. But some of her best material yet did land on that record. And even if you kind of rewind further back beyond that, while a lot of her earlier material may not necessarily be skilled, there are still good and daring and interesting ideas there. And, and, and let's not ignore the fact that like every once in a while, even on the earlier side of, of her career, Willow has had strokes of genius. Like I whip my hair, uh, hello. I mean, that was legitimately a cultural reset, which goes to show that no matter what Willow is doing, you cannot count her out. Whip my hair is a once in a blue moon, once in a generation type moment. And Willow Smith is the Smith that has it. So in my opinion, Willow Smith is a very good very respectable Smith and uh, somebody who I think is uh, showing greatness off the bat, but also promise into the future, which is why I would give Willow uh, pro pro probably like a, a, a low A or a high B. We'll be generous off the bat in the video. We'll, we'll, we'll go low A. Okay. The next release from the Smiths came out just a few years prior to Willow. Uh, that would be uh, Jaden Smith. And Jaden is a very curious cat, as you guys might know from some of my coverage of, of his work over the years. In whatever Jaden does, there seems to be a lot of intention. There's a lot of ambition. Uh, also remember, he is a multi-talent, not just with music and rapping and singing and songwriting, but with acting too. Really kind of taking in his father's footsteps. And yet, and yet, he has not been able to quite nail things down either on the screen or in the studio in the way that his father did. The guy is also, if you look at a lot of his tweets over the years, a philosopher. Uh, if you look at some of his uh, you know, media outings and opportunities that he's done, he's an environmentalist too, which we like, is a positive thing. You love to see it. But simultaneously, especially during some key moments over the past five years or so, he has not proven to uh, be the most self-aware dude, often landing himself in extremely cringe moments and situations, which you just hate to see because you know the guy has the potential to do better. But am I on the edge of my seat in the same way that I am for Willow at this moment? Not, not really. These ratings, of course, are subject to change. Nothing is set in stone, especially when you're talking about uh, individuals who are in such a state of, of flux as Jaden and Willow. But as, as of right now, as of right now, uh, being as diplomatic as I can be, um, I would give uh, Jaden Smith uh, a spot in the C row. It can be a high C. Okay, next on our list here will be the uh, next. Okay, while Jada, like all the Smiths, has had moments in uh, visual media, 
has had moments in music too. Uh, Jada's talents very clearly lie more on the uh, film, TV, acting side of things. I mean, she has tried. Uh, th there was that metal band that she was with for quite a while back in the day, Wicked Wisdom, uh, but that's no good, that, that's, that's not good. There is very much a divide with some Smiths excelling at music, some Smiths so much not. Um, Jada is in the not camp. But with that being said, we cannot take away from the fact that Jada has had decades of amazing, fantastic, memorable, and important roles uh, in mainstream film, in Menace to Society, in Scream 2, in Set It Off, in The Nutty Professor, The Matrix Reloaded, Revolutions, and Resurrections. When it comes to acting, Jada is all that and a bag of chips. The problem is, is that I'm not sure if she fully realizes it sometimes, as her ambitions and hunger for attention sometimes get the better of her and cause her to push into fields that maybe are not necessarily her strong points. This does lead to moments where uh, she flies, like in her position as a producer, for the Broadway musical Fela, and there are moments where she falls, like in this weird red table talk series that she has done, a lot of which have revolved around very ugly, embarrassing, strange, and overexposed Smith family dramas that have honestly done more to tarnish the Smith family name uh, than any number of Jaden albums ever could. And obviously, I don't know Jada myself, but if the conversations uh, and the family dynamics that were displayed in some of those red table talks or any indicator, uh, th th there's a lot of self-obsession and uh, need for control and maybe even narcissism going on there. It was very weird, very concerning. Just stuff that we don't need to see, stuff that we don't need to know. And again, she has the talent and the capability to be doing other more flattering, more significant things, and yet we're instead doing this. And it's with a heavy heart that I say, like a lot of Jada's more recent activity, I think in a negative fashion, has offset uh, the, the, the more positive aspects of her career and come up in the 90s and the 2000s. I'm just not really looking forward to uh, the future of uh, Jada's output, sadly, which is why I, I would probably... And again, diplomatically, uh, I, I would put Jada in the, the, the D column, put Jada in the D. Okay, finally, uh, we, we come to the head honcho himself. Uh, that would be Mr. Big Willie style himself, Will Smith. You know, what can I say? The ultimate act of toughness, truly and honestly, is the ability to be yourself. And that's what it means to do it Big Willie style. Which is why I'm putting Will Smith in the S row for Smith. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. The ultimate, the greatest, the one and only Smith's tier list.